We have a new balance patch on the test server, so let's go over it. And every single Zaura player is going to be insanely excited about this one. I'm going to talk about Zaura in a second, of course, when we get to the Pokemon. But trust me, you're going to be very, very hyped for these buffs. So first one, we have Umbreon. Umbreon, of course, deserving a nerf. We have first the boost auto attack nerfed. Currently the best Pokemon in the game. And yeah, I mean, I don't think it's a question why this Pokemon is getting nerfed. So 2% less healing on the boost auto attack. Then we have Foul Play getting a damage nerf. Um on the basic one, and then also depending on how much attack the opponents have. And then on top of it, it's also getting a cooldown nerf that's not in right here, from 5 seconds to 7 seconds, so also a 2 second longer cooldown, which is also quite, quite, that's actually a huge nerf. So foul play is getting multiple nerfs. Then we have wish, cause boost auto attack also, right? Foul play on um, on the updated one, or the foul play plus, gives you boost auto attacks, right? So that's also nerfed towards foul play by just nerfing the boost auto attack. Wish is getting a 1 second buff. Um, currently was actually underperforming, even though I think it's also quite good, right? It was standard performing, and then Snarl is getting a 2 second cooldown nerf, and then also it reduces less special attack and attack, and the stun duration is also reduced, and Snarl Plus is also getting a half second nerf on the stun. And Snarl was the thing that actually made the Pokemon so broken, because it just does way too many things, right? It stuns, it reduces damage, it gives Umbreon a shield, it gives Umbreon hindrance resistance, so many things at the same time. They're hitting it now pretty harshly as well. But I think these buffs, uh, these nerfs look quite reasonable. And I think Umbreon for sure is going to be somewhere in the midfield after these nerfs. At least I would assume so. I would think it's going to be like a healthy 50 to 51% win rate maybe now with these nerfs. But we're going to find out, of course, when this hits live servers. Then Shenelua also getting nerfed already. We have Overheat getting nerfed. Currently the second highest win rate Pokemon. So these are the two highest win rate Pokemon in the entire game, Umbreon and Shenelua. And they're both getting hit, which I mean makes a lot of sense. We have Overheat getting a 1.5 second nerf on Overheat Plus, also 1 second. And then we have Imprison also getting a 2 second cooldown nerf. So just, they're not nerfing the damage, just making the cooldowns a bit longer, which I guess is also reasonable. I'm not sure which one I like more, because having the move more up is more fun. Uh, having a deal less damage is alright, but yeah. So just Shenelu getting uh, some cooldown reduction nerfs right here. I think that's totally fair, and... I think I would have liked to see a flamethrower buff though in the same patch, or maybe a um, poltergeist buff. Or also been quite fun to see. Next up we have Leafeon. Leafeon is getting a Solar Blade buff just across the board. Every stage of Solar Blade just does more damage. You can see multiple things right here. Better scaling, so attack rate is going to be even more useful as well in this Pokemon when you play Solar Blade. Aerial Ace is getting a 1 second cooldown buff. I'm not sure exactly, like, is that... So when you use, like, Ace, there's, like, a window, right, where you can't use it. I think Ace is just still bad. Like, it just doesn't do anything. <laughs> it just doesn't do anything. But Leaf Blade is also getting a nerf at the same time, so... One second cooldown. Less damage as well, Varroy. A lot of less base damage on, on Leaf Blade, so... Uh, maybe Ace could be, uh, could be a thing now, with Leaf Blade being nerfed, but I feel like Ace is just so bad. It just doesn't do anything. You just miss damage. As soon as you go Ace, you just miss damage. That's what it feels like, right? You just don't have enough damage to get any KOs, and that's why you have to go Leaf Blade. Because otherwise, you're not going to get any KOs. That's I tried it, and it just felt absolutely horrible. So I don't think a current reduction nerf really is going to do too much. Uh, are we going to find out? Maybe if they would like reduce the cooldown of your other move after auto-attacking something, it could be quite fine, but yeah. This is just... I don't think this is going to change much. Solar Blade is nice at getting a buff, but it already does a lot of damage, so it's going to be quite scary. Next up, Duraladon is getting some changes. Gonna zoom in a bit more so it's easier to read. We have Boost Loud Attack. The max damage to wild Pokemon is getting reduced, so like to Regis, Rayquaza, is getting a max damage nerf. And then Flash can say she's getting a 1 second buff. And then the Boost Loud Attack to wild Pokemon is also getting a nerf. They just wanna reduce the uh, Duraladon just ripping Rayquaza on spawn and try to make it a bit more difficult, right? For the Pokemon to just straight up start Ray when it spawns and just rip through it. Dragon Pulse is getting a 1.5 second buff, but they're also nerfing again the mark or like the white damage. So they're just pretty much nerfing the white, the poker, the damage to white Pokemon across the board for Draladon. That's quite interesting, but they're still buffing Dragon Pulse to have a less or lower cooldown. All right. How do I feel about this? I mean, I think that's reasonable. I think the most annoying thing about this Pokemon is that it's just like, Ray spawns, it starts auto-attacking it. And this takes away some of the last hitting potential as well, right? So, yeah. Then we have Stealth Rock getting a speed reduction nerf. And let me actually put on my cursor, you guys can see what I'm looking at as well. There's my cursor now. Um, 
Stealth Rock Speed Reduction 15 to 25% and Limit from 6 to 4. I'm actually not sure what the limit means, but I guess you more speed reduction apparently. I know Stealth Rock is just weird because the Island just has no mobility as soon as you go. Right, as soon as you go Stealth Rock, you just have no mobility. And having no mobility just is not fun, especially with how many speedsters are there. Like if you play Stealth Rock into Zoro Arc or Leafeon, you're just going to die multiple times, right? It's just how it is. Dragon Knight already getting a nerf. I mean, it's very strong right now. It has a very high win rate as well. But I'm quite surprised how fast they already nerfed Dragon Knight. So Hyper Beam getting nerfed by two seconds already. It's one nerf, but I mean, that's for sure something. So maybe Outrage slowly is going to become the better move. Then we have something very exciting for Lucario players. They're actually buffing Extreme Speed. I guess can't see the Lucario right now for some reason. There we go. Um, Lucario is getting an Extreme Speed buff. More base damage, more scaling, and then Close Combat also getting 1.5 second cooldown buff. And Unite Move is getting a massive cooldown reduction buff, which again, I mean, they're slowly just buffing all the Unite Moves to have a reasonable cooldown, which I think makes sense, because it's much more fun your Unite Move to be up more often, right? Um, they've done it now to multiple Pokemon, and I think Lucario is for sure someone... It's The Unite Move is strong of Lucario, but it's not game-changing, right? So I think this is totally fine and very reasonable. And now we come to the biggest buff of the patch, probably Zaora. First, you're going to think, wow. So this charge is getting a buff by two seconds. And then Wild Charge is getting a nerf, actually. Wild Charge is getting a one second higher cooldown and a damage nerf as well. But then I was like, this can't be true, right? They're not just nerfing Wild Charge without doing something else. So I locked onto the test server and Wild Charge is level seven now and the charge. And uh, Void Switch and Spark is level five now. So it's going to be five, seven on the aura now and I think probably also 11 I actually didn't check that but probably also 11 and 13 for the plus ones so yeah this is the change I think we all been waiting for level 5 level 7 not level 6 and level 8 it takes ages for your Pokemon to start doing things especially for a speedster that's quite quite bad so yeah the aura might just be back next patch for I mean hasn't hasn't been meta for a long time right so that's gonna be quite interesting then we have Memoswine it's actually getting a buff on its ability, getting more defense, some more special defense for a longer time. And then we have an Ice Fang. I think this one is a mistake right here that I saw somewhere posted. So ignore this. I think it's like 85 or something. They're not buffing the uh, scaling from 60 to 175. This is a mistake. And then we also have some more damage here. So Ice Fang getting a buff, Earthquake getting a buff. And Unite move as well, also lowering the cooldown of the Unite move for a lot of Pokemon now. And then we also have a stun buff actually on the Unite move as well. So Mamoswine getting a lot of buffs on the move center that no one really plays. Ice Fang Earthquake, gonna be interesting to see how that goes. Might try some more Earthquake with a Ice Icicle Crash though. That sounds quite a fun. I'm gonna see. Of course, this has to be tested, but yeah, those are some pretty good Mamoswine buffs. We saw this already. Bigly Tough is getting a buff from 10 seconds to 8 seconds on Sing. Getting some cooldown reduction there. Gudra, attack speed reduce increased on the ability GUI. And then Dragon Put also getting 1.5 second cooldown buff. And then we have Power Whip movement speed reduced from 50% for 2 seconds to 80% diminishing 15% every 0.5 for 3 seconds. So at the start of Power Whip, the slow is much stronger and then it's going to slowly, um, you know, deplete. Interesting. And Tillion also getting a buff already. We have Snipeshot getting uh, an increased range. And I wonder if this is going to be also on the on Tuesday already, when, like, when the Pokemon comes out. I would assume so. <laughs> Imagine they release the Pokemon and then like two weeks later they buff it. Like this, that would be quite funny. Because this patch is going to come out in like two weeks or something. And then, last and not least, Zora getting a nerf as well on the attack scaling. So something they buffed, they're also going to nerf now. I mean, Zora for sure needs, needs a nerf, right? It deserves one. It's very, very strong. Let me know in the comments what you think about this patch. And I'm going to go live on my Twitch now playing Mewtwo and Blaziken. So feel free to tune in.